A lot of thought and redesign went into badges for next gen. Many favorites return, but most have undergone some significant functionality changes. There are some new ones, some revived ones, and some removed ones. The point system and equipping process is similar to what you've grown accustomed to. Perform well in various categories uh, in any mode to earn badge points, and then apply these to whatever badge you want within those related categories. This his advice when you get to next gen is to experiment with different badges that you may have overlooked in the past because you might find some new favorites that complement your play style that you may not expect. Here are some of the new returning badges. So what he's saying there is they've tweaked some of these. They've right. tweaked some of the ones that you guys already know, and they may be worse or they may be better, nerfed, buffed, whatever. Just like we saw even in the current Gen 2K, that means we might need to take a closer look at some of these, and they may have renamed some, etc. Fearless finisher, boost contact layups, and decreases fatigue. Boy, it kind of sounds like we're reading takeovers again, doesn't it? It does. It seems like badges and takeovers are so similar, and it'll be interesting to see the differences between the two. Uh, so fearless finisher sounds like a combination of contact finisher and relentless, but it's only layups. So maybe if you don't have a good standing or driving dunk, you would choose this over, I think I, I skipped ahead and saw a posterizer, uh, but this is probably for a smaller guard who, who doesn't get as many contact dunk animations. So definitely going to be a good badge, I think. Heat Seeker boosts takeover progress on inside dots. So this is sort of like showtime, but only for yourself. Uh, this badge could be okay, but I think the next one is probably going to be good as well. All right, this one sounds new. Highlight film boosts teammate takeover progress on flashy dunks. That is not new. Right, that's the showtime that's badge. Showtime. We'll, we'll see if it's as overpowered this year as it is in the current gen. Hook specialist boost hook shot ability. Post score, put it on there. Shoot some minger bingers, as Ramo and Wolf like to say. Yao minger binger on the, on the hook. Could, could be good with all of those, uh, the post takeovers that we talked about before. Revived posterizer contact dunks with an exclamation point. Yeah, this is going to be used on every single slasher build. This will be maxed to Hall of Fame um play slashes will have it at the one if you have a demi type player you're running five out you'll use it bigs are going to use this badge so it's it's probably going to be the most popular badge for finishing again if i had to guess rise up boost ability to do standing dunks in traffic sounds a little mashy here spencer mm -hmm. uh, who, who's mashy in chat let, let me know where the bigs are uh, that that can't can't go to work in 2K21 current gen because the inside scoring is so bad. It it looks like this badge could really improve mashing, and I like that. I, I want to be able to mash on my on my big sometimes. Antifreeze harder to get cold and lose takeover meter progress. This one sounds interesting. Sounds like they're trying to counter Heart Crusher a little bit and. Uh, not to cheat ahead, but if Heart Crusher's still in the game, you might have to have anti-freeze anti on. Otherwise, you are in trouble. This one might also be big on point guards. Totally. Yep. That's a good point. Especially in our league build last year, chat, yeah. it was if you got one turnover and there was no Heart Crusher, you could be icy. You're in Antarctica without a jacket for the rest of the game. It got bad. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. This badge could be definitely good. Blinders less affected by peripheral defenders when shooting jumpers. S sounds That's like a dead the, eye badge. This one sounds like it's going to tilt some locks. <laughs> for sure. If you have that takeover, the contest takeover, and someone has blinders on, you are you are locked in at the rim and not missing. I, I hope this isn't amazingly OP to where you're just hitting heavies all day, but we'll see. Yikes. That's a that could be toxic. Circus threes, improved ability to hit pull up and step back threes. Again, another Ticino badge. I think this could be good with the new mechanics in the game too. If if step backs are as good as we think they are and you're able to really be precise to set your feet, if you're able to do a step back and elevate and shoot and this helps your percentage, hey, this could be that could be a great badge. I think the first course of the report, literally every video was a step back. 
Yeah, it seriously Every was. Every single one they showed was a step back. Fade, no, yeah, fade, ace, boosts all post fadeaways, another post score. Yep, pretty self-explanatory. Hot shot, increases takeover meter faster when knocking down jumpers. They named this after Juan, it sounds like. <laughs> down heat, heat check, hot shot. Yeah, this, this is going to be a sharp badge for sure. This could be OP as well. I mean, you hit one shot and your takeover bar goes up till half and you have primary limitless range and then you're shooting from half court and then you get precision takeover. You're halfway to team takeover and then GG, it's over. So that's going to be a good uh, a good badge for Sharps. A lot, a lot of stuff now affecting takeovers. Increasing, yeah. decreasing, boosting, that kind of thing. Like, I, I see a lot of opportunity, I know. There, we may see we may see more takeovers uh, getting used mm-hmm. next year or getting reached, primary, secondary. Hopefully, it is a lot harder to get to team. Right, you know, that's a big one. I see over here the last badge was just for contest on the side. Yeah, blinders was for contest peripheral, aka from the side. Got it. So Got if they're it. straight on, that's fine. I'm saying it's going to be like I see. I already know Wolf is jumping but he's jumping from an angle right and he gets no contest that's when he's gonna be tilted (laughs) (laughs) he's gonna be raging that's still gonna be a good badge yeah deep threes deep threes dame and curry range three balls another another sharp badge so hang on with limitless yeah so range extender is no longer a badge but in takeover you have limitless range so you've got takeover as that, as well as deep threes, which is specific to threes now. And remember, range extender used to be twos as well. Right. Yep. Good so catch. Good deep point. Deep threes, specific, those uh, logos. Four like, point shots. Like, yeah, seriously. If we're, we're, in, um, we're in that park mode where you're, you're shooting from half court for four pointers, this is going to be absolutely insane ruffles that's what it's called i kept wanting to say doritos but it's ruffles so (laughs) (laughs) rhythm shooter boost shot percentages out of size ups as well as one step pull-ups again we'll we'll have to see how good those pull-ups are and this could be good for a, uh, a dribbling park player could be op there's so much shooting here spencer so much shooting that it scares me like bobby was saying in chat earlier shooting feels op especially if you get those if you have someone running the team ratings boost takeover too like yikes chat do you feel like shooting is automatically just going to be unbelievable this year because with all of these badges if you have 30 badges to choose from you max these on the hall of fame how 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 do you you miss miss? yeah hey pro uh they did take out moving truck but they added a takeover back down punisher something like that uh that that is basically a moving truck but you have to get it with takeover um so let's keep going with these shooting badges set set shooter set shooter shooting ability gets better the longer you set and wait before pulling that's interesting it is. This this goes back to 2K17 when I was still working with 2K Lab and we would test we were testing catch and shoot and we found really early on in that game that if you pause your shooting percentage increases and it sounds like this is uh just another way to boost this as well. So this coupled with some of those other shooting badges in the corner if you have extra time and have set shooter on and you I mean, shoot with the stick and uh, you, you just do a little more arc on your shot. Exactly. I mean, if you have thumbs and you can time, uh, I mean, this is this should be an easy game to shoot on. So Justin we'll says, I'm guessing more than ever, it's going to be impossible to shoot without badges. Could It could be rough at the beginning of the game, just like it was in, in current gen. Sniper. Boost the ability to hit shots when using pro stick aiming. We're pushing it, man. We're pushing the pro stick aiming. They're, pu- they're pushing it. We're trying. And this could be what we talked about, right? Where if, you, if you're able to master it, you're finally going to get the boost that you deserve. This could be that kind of badge. And hopefully they find a way to uh, limit the cheaters <laughs> so that this doesn't just auto green. But 
um, a, another really good shooting badge if you're able to master pro stick. Next up, stop and pop three for the JJ Reddicks who want to pull up for threes in transition. This is a this is a Swizzerk. This is a Malik kind of badge. If you if you get out and you're leaking um, from the top of the key. Again, another unbelievably good shooting batch, I think. Even point guards, if you're leaking out, this could be amazing. So that's scary, man. If you have 30 shooting badges, it's going to be tough to choose between all of these, I think. Think about this coupled with uh, the um, the glass. Glass cleaning dimes. Yeah, yeah. glass cleaning dimes coupled with the, uh, you know, just getting that full court pass off the rebound and then stopping <laughs> at the three-point line and pulling up with the yep. stop and pop three Ooh. that's scary stuff that is scary bullet passer gives you the ability to throw laser dots like lebron interesting uh comparison here some other people throw right. some lasers that are point cards right <laughs> all right but right. this sounds like a needle threader very similar to needle threader i think rebranded rebranded relay passer boosts the shooter on pass to assist situations i like this actually but what i think this is spencer is let's say the point guard passes to the power forward and then the power forward passes to the shooting guard and he shoots i think that's where this badge kicks in so it's From it's who? almost Who's like got the, it? the point guard the point guard would so it's like it's shooter. like that hockey assist where you pass and then there's another pass and then they get that boost still. So it's like it's like an extended dimer almost. Yeah. Right? It's like you're giving the person that you pass to dimer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Sounds like the hockey assist. Yeah. I like okay. that badge. Special delivery. Boost takeover progress for the passer and receiver off a flashy assist. Sounds like flashy a fun passer. badge in the park. And flashy passer and current gen does give you takeover too. Uh, chat, does flashy passer give the receiver takeover right now, or is it just the passer? In the, in any case, any case, special delivery now is just the passer and receiver. Ankle braces makes it tougher for ball handlers to break your ankles. This is combating ankle breaker. Yeah, ankle braces I think is going to be good, especially in the park, in the stage. If you're playing against BP, playing against some of the dribble gods in the game, you put on ankle braces as a lockdown uh, primary defender that's going to be a great badge i think on the defensive side clutch defender boosts your defensive ratings in clutch moments not a great defensive badge I, I think any badge that limits you to certain moments of the game will never be able to be prioritized let us know your thoughts if you guys think differently <laughs> in chat but christopher says meh yeah I'm feeling that too. I'm feeling the next one a little more. Hot stopper boost takeover meter for good defensive plays like steals, blocks, good contests. So this is kind of like how locks, if they get a steal, their takeover goes up quicker, that kind of thing. This is a right. badge for that now that people can choose. That if they're playing good on defense, their takeover right. gets boosted. Right. So exactly. Demetrius and Arthur, you guys are right. This is rim protector. I got, I got excited for our crusher again but this is definitely the rim protector badge yep okay here are the badges that we retired because they were either redundant aka these badges might have been retired because there's takeovers or other badges that that do what they did before or they feel that these badges didn't fit the new design or the community just didn't like them consistent finisher contact finisher i believe there's some other finishing badges slash takeover that cover these yep. right Cross key score. Get it out. Yeah. Get it out. Bad there's probably badge. there's some other stuff in here I think that covers what whatever that is. Fancy footwork, fast break finisher. They probably yeah. just combined all these a little bit into some of the finishing takeovers. I think that, so. That exist. Uh deep hooks. They actually have a hook mm -hmm. badge. Pick and roller. Now this one I don't, I don't know if this is. I saw much covered. of that. No. Uh uh. Hmm. That could be a big loss. Relentless finisher. Okay, another finishing. Showtime. Saw a few things similar to Showtime, I think. Deep fades. Saw some stuff with that too. Yep. Flexible release is one that's gone. I'm fine with that. Was never a, a huge fan of flexible release. I think it reduces skill gap. So uh, I'm fine with that being gone. Hot start. Uh, fine with that being gone. Wasn't super useful. 2K Lab made a video on it recently, though, and said, Park, it could definitely be good if you hit your first shot. 
rate my build yesterday, we had someone, we had two people using it, one on bronze, one on hall of fame, and they love it. So uh, some people will miss this badge. Um, and then the other thing I saw, Big Green said they took away contact finisher. They actually split it into two different badges. So there's a dunking one, and then there's a layups badge for contact. So no need to worry there. You can just customize it a little bit more. Pick and popper. So pick and roller and pick and popper are out. Yeah, that's pump interesting. Fa pump fake yeah. maestro is out. Get it out. Yeah. Range extender is split up into some different things. You have limitless range type of stuff in your takeover and badges. Quick draw, that was already out. That's in right. the uh, jump shot creator. Steady shooter. Get it out. Fine with that. Okay. Uh, pass fake maestro. Throw it in trash. Throw it in the trash. We don't need that one. Garbage. Flashy passer. That one's like a uh, special delivery. Very Lob, similar, yep. Lob city passer. Ah, oh, man. This scares me, chat. And, and here's, here's why. Okay. This scares me immensely because they've reworked the lobs in the game. And if they've taken out the badge, I feel like the animations are going to be unbelievably overpowered. I just have this feeling, not to be too negative here, uh, but I have this feeling, Spencer, that when 2K focuses on something a lot, the balance of the game sort of goes off kilter a little bit. And, and these lobs feel like it could be just that. I hope it's not an auto lock underhand off the backboard kind of oop that just works every single time. Um, I think there should be levels to lobs. And that's why I did like Lob City Passer, even though it's super overpowered this year. That scares me a little bit not to see it on, on the list. Lightning reflexes. That one was very debated on what it actually did. Right. Extremely right. debated. And then moving truck is actually a t in takeover now. So question for you, Cody. This list of badges, for me, it, it, this isn't everything, is it? No. So I, I think they're showing us the new badges and then what badges won't be in the game. And then you can kind of sift through those lists and pick and choose which ones. Like, I think Deadeye will still be in the game, right? Interceptor is in the game somewhere. I, I think there have to be more because if we look at all these new pictures here, it looks yeah. like they broke them up into the categories. And I'd love to talk about the looks of these. Some are cool. Yeah, what's the clown? It's yeah. a shooting badge. Circus threes. I'm Circus guessing. threes. There you go. But if we went back to the other screen, there are so many more logos. Yeah. Right? So if we go back to the my player builder. Yes. I'll pull this yes. up. Uh, large. You all screen it my player builder there are a lot of badges here compared to what we just read off yeah you're, you're gonna have a lot to choose from i got 17 finishing right now there's 21 shooting i got 16 on playmaking right now yep. and then i've got i'm assuming there's one in this spot here so there's 21 defense over here as well so 75 75 badges we see 75 badges technically we see 74 but we're assuming there's a badge in this empty little spot on the defensive category we see 75 we also know that there's now 24 takeovers is that right mm -hmm. so That's 24 right. takeovers and a lot of badges kind of went over there and the takeovers you can choose two a primary and a secondary so some of these badges did get moved so there i think overall there's probably more choice there's a few more overall